Hi everybody, welcome to the channel. Today we have game number one out of a best of three, which is the Energy Slap Fest 2 Open Qualifier Semi-Final. On the color blue, it's Wemo 1, representing his individuality, playing as John Dark. Actually, it's, it is becoming one of Wem's... Um, specific trademark civilizations that the expression is just when and his brother puppy po playing john dark in a very good way in, in a very their own way you know what i'm saying usually they like to go for a second town center with jd you know what i'm saying and i think it's a good way to play jd it's a safer way i don't know if it's better I think it is. Let me know what you think in the comments down below. On the other side, we have Voldemar playing as the Ottomans on the color yellow. And with this spawn, I wish, I think he wishes he was playing the Malians. Three golds really close to each other. Really easy to defend. But now he's playing the Ottomans, opening up with a military school. And actually, I think this is a good matchup for John Dark. Because in Feudal Age, they're going to have knights, cheaper knights. They're going to have Jun Dark, and they're going to have archers too. And also cheaper villagers from the town center because of the Consecrate. And I think that is just better than the military schools producing Sipahi and archers. Or Sipahi and spearmen. Though, the Ottomans will have the method, which will make this uh, better for them. But it's easier to snipe the method than it is to snipe Jandar, right? And then Mether is only a supportive unit, while Jandark is also an offensive attacking unit and also a supportive unit. So we'll have to see what happens in this matchup. All we're speaking right now, it's all theory. We have to see the practice, the reality of our conversations. And if you enjoy the videos here on the channel, leave a like and subscribe. Your support is greatly appreciated. And use the links down below to find me, those players, and the mainstream in the links down below on Twitch. Let's go. Let's accelerate a little bit until we reach the Feudal Age. Let's see the scouting situation. The Spearman going up. But I wanted to see what I wanted to see was the sheep situation. Good sheep for Voldemort there. Some sheep for Wham, but he has a bit more sheep coming through um, on his scout. Here we go. Actually, it's only three. Three plus four plus one, two, three as well. That's not a lot. The Ottomans, can, they can always go for the um, Anatolian Hills, right? So the sheep is almost never a problem for them. They have seven alive plus three dead. So in terms of sheep... Valdemar doing better. They arrived the Feudal Age. First knight coming out. John still growing up. Building the house. Oh, and Valdemar killing the deer over here. Because maybe he knows that Wham likes to go for a second TC. So he's killing the deer here. So the second TC, if it is dropped here, the deer is very away. Becoming more inefficient. There we go, Wham going for the stone. He really likes to play second TC JD. Knight versus the spear. Nope, they walk back. JD comes through. Wait, what? is JD dropping a tower? Oh, it's gonna be a tower rush. Hey, Jun Dark is walking here. Here she goes. Does she walk faster than a normal villager? I think so. I'm not sure, though. Walking through the forest. Oh, they evolved! Oh, so no a rush. They evolved into woman at arms. Going for the gold. Queen Minaret Madressa already built. A stable. And the barracks for Valdemar there. Okay, so no archers. 
For the moment. Sipahi will clash with the knight. Spearman on the back. Some TC shots on the knight and scout. That's bad. Vizier point. It was the Anatolian Hills. A chip coming through. And faster mining speed as well. So all good. JD goes through. Want to do some damage? They can't. Wham needs to pull back. Pulling back this, the knight. Can he heal with JD here. The knight took some damage. Walking back, walking back. Second TC being brought up. Still near the deer. Not very, that one and that one and that one very far away. Until they have a good amount over there. JD didn't kill no boars. Right. Valdemar, um, when I'm checking here, the deer, Valdemar is not there. Valdemar also has a deer on the front line. Very unsafe versus John Dark and the French. Boar is over there. The other board is right there. Maybe it'd be better for Wem to go for this deer here. Welling off the base. Maybe he didn't scout it. Let's let's check. No. He did he knows. He didn't, he doesn't know about the board though. He knows about the deer. And does he know about this board? Actually I, I don't think so. No, he knows, he knows. All right. Yeah, Valdemar doesn't have any exposed villagers. Good protection on the wood line. That is walled. I like this. It makes me feel comfy. The wall over there. The spear over here. Nobody on the gold exposed there. Everybody in berries and sheep here. Under the town center. Two military schools. Stable barracks. Here, the Sipah, we will go for some raids. But Wham is on a second TC, so the economical lead is now building slowly but surely. And Wham, glad he built the walls. Poor Sipahi arrived to do some damage. Nothing happens because of the walls. Wham now switching, oh, not switching, adding in some archers to the composition. Consecrate the... Wait. What GD consecrated? The barracks? Before the... Before the, st before the stable. Before the school of cavalry. Make... 45 food and 20 wood spearmen. That's very cheap, man. That's dirty cheap, right? That's very good, actually. Okay, maybe Wham just wants to match the number of spears of the enemy. Because he stopped making knights. He's now going only spear archer. Right? It's better than um, Sipahi Spearman. Because both Sipahi and Spearman will be stuck in the front line. While the archers will just shoot in the back. Right? And you can always pull the spear back to your archer line. As the Sipahis try to go around. Knights try to get... They did get the villager. We have already seven villagers ahead. Looking good, looking good. A battalion of spear now protecting the berries. Another barrack for Valdemar. And an archery range as well. So Valdemar wants some archers, double archery range actually. Remember, the military buildings are cheaper for the Ottomans. Remember that. Tipahi will be caught here by two knights. Uh, no, no engagement. Couple shots from the archers. No big deal, no big deal. A 
That's a lot of Sipahi from Valdemar, though. 14 Sipahi. And 17 Spearmen versus only 4 Spearmen and 10 Archers. Valdemar, if they have all the army together, they will take a very good fight. But they have a lot of Spearmen and uh, Sipahi there in the back of the base. They are afraid of more night raids, and I understand that. We are now dropping huge walls here. And they still don't know about the boar over there. Actually, GD killed no boars this game, so no extra XP. But that deer will be a very good food source. Oh, Valdemar already more than 10 villagers ahead. Almost to 20. Up now 13, though. The second TC is working marvelously. And Valdemar is not being aggressive enough, I think. I think they had enough numbers. To push a good fight, but the more time they take, the more villagers Wham produces, the more resources they will have, the more units they'll be able to pump out. Let's see what Voldemar has on the military schools. Three, by the way, Sipahi, Method, and Sipahi. All right. That's a big army from Voldemar. 18 more units than the enemy. That's a good, respectable army. Let's see what they do with it. Pushing up and entering the base. I'm not doing anything yet. Oh, they're very indecisive here. Do they push? Do they don't push? Wham is getting very close to the castle age. Right? Valdemar. No, Valdemar is still pulling back. Oh man. They're going with the scout forward. They want more information before attacking. Knights charging through. Scout goes into the formation. Wham up to 11 Spearmen. Still, I don't think it's enough. Wham. Uh, Valdemar is just not attacking. He's waiting for more units. Waiting for the Mether, maybe? What is the Mether? Ain't it. It's not there? Not there. Okay, Wem is now going up with the guild hall. The method is... Oh, okay, I think he's waiting for the method. Let's see the vision. Oh, this is the Wem's vision. I want Voldemar's vision. Yeah, they don't see much. This is a couple knights there. Let's see Wem's vision. They also don't see the army for Valdemar. But Wem is aging up. Valdemar can't take too long. Right. They still not taking a decision here. Scout goes up again. Wem reaches the castle age. They're going for veteran archers, and Voldemort chooses here to burn down the town center. Nice engagement from the Spearman. This should be a good fight for Voldemort, no? Ah, uh, but JD is there. That's so many Sipahi. He needs to kill the Spearman with the archers, which is doing so effectively. Bro, he, whoa, 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 very good fight for Valdemar. A lot of Sipaki and a lot of Spears still alive. 
But the Mene Tarnals are coming through for Wham! To be huge difference here. The Mene Tarnals tanking. Knights got their upgrade. JD level 3. Can call some companions soon. This is a very good fight for Valdemar here. He's killing a lot of units for... Um, there you go. Companions are here for Wham. Oh no, but he's losing too much right now. You see fire, archers, and men at arms doing a great work. I perhaps Voldemar just waited too long. JD does go down. More units arrive for Voldemar. JD comes back to life immediately. And now Voldemar needs to push back. Not enough spears to kill the knights. And the Sipaki can't really reach the archers on the back. Archers also with the upgrade. Doing more damage. JD level 3. Calling companions here. Making a huge difference. Janissary timing gets activated. Bro, they will demolish all these knights. Great timing for Valdemar here. Archers on the back though. Can do huge damage. They are co consuming. <laughs> Lol. Consuming. They are deleting the Janissaries on the back. Janissaries is also doing very well against those men at arms. Bypassing a lot of that armor. But the main TC doing a lot of damage. I see Paki not stay there for a long time. Wham switching to farms right now. They're running out of food. Is that deal over? Most likely, yes. And Wham still doesn't know about the boar over there. He should have some vision on the walls, no? No, he doesn't know the boar is right there. Alright. Bro, it was a good fight for Valdemar. But they just... It wasn't decisive enough, right? Wham brought some men at arms... The knights got an upgrade, the archers got an upgrade. Valdemar should have attacked sooner. Farm transition for Wham. Looking good, actually. Let's go for the income per minute. Wham. Ooh, almost 30 villagers ahead. This is bad for Valdemar. They want to go castle, but they also need to keep producing. Otherwise, Wham will just trample them. On the other side, some Sipahi burning down some walls. Valdemar, Valdemar brings the army back. It's still a very respectable army, but not enough front line. Wham is walking out. Wham is up to 12 minute arms and 17 archers. That's actually pretty good. Valdemar with 27 archers, 8 Sipagi, 8 spearmen, and 7 Janissaries. 7, not set. Set is in Portuguese. Seven. Set. John returned to the battlefield. Oh, wait. John died again. I didn't realize it. Well, Valdemar with the good work. Killing the John. Army. Armies will clash here. John back on the field. Armies on the fight. Archers on the back, doing good damage. Great heal from JD. It's not enough. The army from Valdemar cannot go through the men at arms. The men at arms are eating the front line alive. And GG gets called Valdemar. Took a bit too much to do the damage. It was a good plan. Great feudal play, but it wasn't enough. Guys, thank you for watching. Let's go to game number two.